the next topic that we can go into is customer material info records this is uh, a function whereby we can create customer related uh, information for each and every material I'm going to show that to you now this is important because for each customer and material combination we can store some specific information related to that particular customer need to go to logistics material management and uh, material master sorry not here not under material management close it come under logistics sales distribution master data agreements expand agreement and choose customer material information and this is the function choose the customer and sales organization distribution channel combination press enter locked by SAP user I think I'm locking it let me close it I think I'm locking it here so I've already closed it so once again go to logistics sales distribution master data agreements customer material information create now press enter will be taken to this table choose a material that we have created just now 1247 here I can enter information that uh, what would be the code the customer that customer will be using for this material number let me explain that to you shortly let's say the customer is calling this as 001 material which means that this material number here is only set up in our system for this particular product for product desktop but not necessarily that uh, the customer should also be using the same material code in his own system so he might be using 0001 to represent desktops in his own system so it is good that we can uh, establish this relationship table so that we know what the customers product code for the same product so using this table I can actually assign the relationship let me save it so it has been saved let me go in so I can go to change mode I'll choose change and I'll come here I can execute and I can do the changes if I double click just now when I was here I can double click and to key in more information like customer description even though we call it as desktop here probably the customer want to call it as uh, personal computer this is how the customer is calling desktops in his organization he call it as a personal computer and the other information that we can maintain is that uh, the shipping plant for example if this customer is placing an order for desktop we want to ship it from a different plant than New York because in our earlier material master information creation let me take you to there room 02 we have already mentioned the delivering plant is NY so for whatever reason if for this customer we want to deliver it from a different plant say Washington we can enter it here so in the sales order when I enter this material for this customer the delivering plant will be auto, auto defaulted to Washington and the other info important information that I can uh, enter here is the delivery priority I can uh, maintain a priority level here 
so that when I print my delivery due list in this topic outbound delivery the system will actually give higher priority to deliver to this customer first because the delivering uh, team will actually deliver according to the delivery priority list priority uh, that is set up here so when they print the uh, delivery due list the, the the records in the delivery due list will be prioritized using the priority level set here so it is important that you set the proper priority here so that in the delivery due list we can uh, list the records according to the proper priority here and the minimum delivery quantity no doubt we have entered the minimum delivery quantity here the quantity that we enter here is applicable to all the customers under this sales organization and distribution channel combination so if you want to uh, enter different minimum delivery quantity for this customer alone you can enter a different one so that is specific to this customer alright this ca these are the some of the information you can enter and save this is quite straightforward let me end the topic here